Peace, fam. This is Thought Advice CKC. I'm um, doing a vlog for today. And this one is called Know Thyself. Because I was questioned recently on what does know thyself mean? And the response I got before I answered, the response I got was in reference to knowing my history, knowing uh, my ancestry, um, knowing my blood link and who my people are and you know things of that sort and I beg to differ I, I don't I don't agree with that's what know thyself is for me know thyself is literally know thyself know who I am what I am meaning some childhood stuff some like if, as if I was a three-year-old and I was telling my three-year-old to know thyself I would teach my three-year-old if it was a male or a female and since me being a three-year-old would be a female then I am a female I am a wound man what does that mean what is a wound man how is the womb important um um, you know, like how when you, you teach a child, these are your eyes, this is your nose, your lips, your hands. But do you realize we don't teach our children what to do with our eyes or their eyes, their nose, their lips, their hands? Do you teach a child that when they look upon something to look upon righteousness first and to turn away from things that are not righteous? Do you teach a child that their hands should give and receive in righteousness and reject non-righteousness do you teach a child that his feet his feet are the carriers of his physical or her physical being on the planet anywhere the feet go is where you go you teach a child that your feet should not take you into non-righteous settings but into righteous settings and to walk away from non-righteousness to know thyself is do you know how, how many of us know how many systems to the body there are do you know there's ten systems I mean you know like the skeletal the the um in, uh, lymphatic system the indoctrine if I'm not mistaken the, the circulatory system the digestive system do you know these things do we teach our, our children the ten body systems because one if we teach the children the ten body systems we might not need doctors anymore because if, if you teach me that how my digestive system work if I knew from my mother and I'm not saying that I don't but let's just say if I knew from my mother that my digestive system is um, two blocks long my intestines is two blocks long when a carnivore intestines is only uh, a ruler 12 inches long so the food doesn't so the meat doesn't rot in the carnivore system it comes right out within a couple hours but through my system it takes hours and it takes a very long time for it to go through the two blocks so that I can get the nutrients out of my body because I'm not a, a, a carnivore but an herbivore and so the herbs process through the body but yet the meat ferment in the system which causes all kind of diseases uh, diseases of the circulatory diseases of your blood diseases of your um, your heart and your kidneys and your liver and all this stuff that comes from uh, what a carnivore system is made to ingest but we digest this do you teach your children that do they know that their teeth are not made with fangs to tear flesh yet we have grinders and that's for for nuts and um, grains and vegetables and fiber but y'all so busy talking about everybody keep coming at me with this know thyself no know thyself is not knowing my ancestors that's knowing our story. That's a different thing. That's knowing my story. Or, yeah, our story. Because if I learn, if you teach me at five years old about Sekhmet, Sekhmet, Ninti, Ishtar, Ashtar, Isis, Ast, Bast, if you teach me about these beings, then I wind up 21 walking around in costumes. 
I walk around mimicking segment because I don't know me. I know her. I know who she was. Not to say that those stories not important. Don't get it twisted. Those stories are very important, but important for what? Those stories are important to inspire me after knowing myself, then knowing my lineage, then knowing what my ancestors did and what I'm capable of because these same pe melanated beings, you know, just if after learning that I am a melanated being and what melanin can do, no, what I, the, the know thyself community now has become know our story is knowing thyself. Because if I learn who I am, then I learn my ancestry or simultaneously. You teach me my ancestry. You teach me our story. Then what would I create within myself? If I knew who I was and then knew that she was capable. If, if I knew about melanin and the science of the, the being that I, just the simple, thyself. The simple being that I am. And then I'm allowed to create. I'm not in a, in a, in a. In a situation, a parental situation where you're um, controlling your kids or your children, yet allowing them to be free of mind. And then you teach them what they are, who they are, teach them their story. What would that child become? How powerful of a being would that be? I mean, and it's for these reasons I wish I had a child. I, I wish I had a, a mate where I could have a child and, and I could put this theory, I, I could make this more than a theory. I could put it into practice. Because I've, I've been in the study of what they call ourselves for a long time. And mostly what I learned in that study is the routes we traveled, how America is really mine, how I, my people were empress and kings and queens and gods and goddesses. That's powerful affirmation is, that I informed myself with is very, very powerful and I appreciate that. But most of that was about somebody else and I still didn't learn who I was. We still don't have any abilities or any powers. Why don't I have the power of Sekumtet? I, I could wear the, the nemesis, I think that's what it's called. I could wear the headdressing and the garb and I could put on a costume of gold and black. But I can't do nothing. I, I don't have unk science. We can't do nothing. We just know some stuff. And then we'll talk about the metaphysical of um, our ancestors and what they did metaphysically and all of this. But yet I'm remembering and yet certain things are happening within myself that I can't explain. And then I go to a, a another um, so-called conscious being and they explain to me that um, well, this is because and then I, this is this happening because... Something in reference to my ancestry, they'll bring up another being. No, tell me what's happening in me. Teach me me. Because if 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 you taught me me, if I learned thyself, then I'd be on frequency. Cause the thing about Sekhmet, and I use her, that's my name, one of my names, my titles anyway, Niwapian. They say I am Sekhmet Anuka, the nuke is given to me by the master teacher. But if if I learned who I was and not segment just just learned myself the abilities who the simple things it's basics it's very basics then and I just knew about my, my, my the ten systems of my body especially digestion and I digested things properly and only digested only consumed the things that I'm supposed to digest what frequency would I be on then to learn that uh, um, um, asset brought Osiris back to life I think about that how she do that how was she able to do that she was able to do that because she knew herself she overstood the magic she overstood the frequencies she overstood this metaphysical self she overstood the yoni you know the wound wasn't suppressed that's the first lesson that's the first lesson of every child, as far as I'm concerned, of what I've been shown from, from my guardians, my watchers, what I've been shown, the first lesson to every child should be the womb. Because it's, your, it's, it's the first point of your physical manifestation. It's how you got here. What is this portal? What is this stargate? What is the yoni? What is the yoni? 
truly what is the yoni there's two yonis there's two yonis on the physical and most people don't know this they know it but they don't know it men have a yoni too men has a womb what is a womb a womb is any place to um, create or form things that's the mind that God that's in everybody everybody has God in them that's your creation center that's why you can make anything manifest via the mind because that's the God in you and that mind is called a womb hence she but then the womb man has been given two wounds the womb man has been given that mind the God within where anything is possible excuse me where anything is is we're able to manifest via this 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 God it's my creation center but then I've been given a second wound Nobody taught me this. I had to go find it. The tree told me. That one. I had to go find it. The womb. Is a stargate. It's a portal. It lets out a vortex that allow. Spiritual beings. To manifest. And grow inside of my. My cargo. My, 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 my cargo system. And then out the Stargate. I bring things from one realm to the other realm. It's, it's the, the Yoni is the creation center. It's the life force energy. So the mind is again is one is one vessel of creation. That's the Yoni in everybody. Because the, what is the universe? What is the God? The God is a womb. It's where creation happens. And a lot of you don't want to hear this because you want to hear God is a man. And he got a penis. And he's shooting sperm. He's spitting electricity out everywhere. Because that's what sperm is. Electricity. It's spirit. It's not soul. The soul does not enter... The, the, the physical body of the being the new being coming in until three hours after conception after the male and female come together and that heartbeat of the zygote sends out that signal that's when the soul comes in it I've seen it I'm not asking permission for what I'm saying I'm telling you something that you may not know and you can receive it in your spirit or not receive it in your spirit. But this know thyself has become somewhat of a problem, y'all. Because you're not knowing yourselves. You're knowing your ancestry. You're knowing your route. You're knowing what you had and what you didn't have. And then you'll, you'll go to beings who's, who's breaking the cycle. You'll go to beings who's, who's coming into self like a lot of our healers I'll mention no names but you know and they know who they are you have healers who's coming to who's got back on the frequency of the herb and the herb speaks to them and they're healing you but they're charging you fifteen hundred dollars a session that's not your information selfish that's our information the planet belongs to all of us and like I said in the other video, we've just come to a point where we're monopolizing off our own people too. So you, you they, they'll sell you the book and won't give you the formula though. Or they'll sing, sell you the product but won't give you the formula. So you, for, I, I paid $1,500 for a book if the book had the formulas in it and then I can heal myself. And my children, and my children can heal their children, and their children's children can be healed from the herb. It's not your information. 
And that's where everybody mess. They they we're selling knowledge now. When it, when it, when it does come to the know thyself, that costs a pretty penny. And again, it's not for a solution. It's not for the formula. It's just for. Uh, the solution for it right now for you and you can buy it and you can continue to buy it for your children everybody can continue to buy it from you when it's not yours it belongs to the earth it belongs to mother it belongs to yoni know thyself know everything about you start getting to study about you know your surroundings how many of you know what kind of tree is in your backyard what kind of grass is in your yard? What does this tree do? What's the mesquite tree? What does it do? What is these beans that come off the mesquite tree? When does it come off this mesquite tree? What kind of birds are over here in this tree? What, what, kind, of, what kind of birds just nested in my tree and had um, young in that tree? Most of those answers you don't know. Because you, you're in the book. You're reading the book. But you got to read the book about yourself, not the book necessarily about somebody else. That's good to know. Put your ancestors on the wall, but to do it as inspiration for what you could become, not to mimic what they were. Be better than your ancestors, because right now all of us is worse because I don't give a shit what's going on or what's being put out there. We're not being saved. We don't, we don't have no power. We can't stop the coming. We can't control the weather. But we could talk about the weather though, because we write a book, and we could talk about why this natural disaster is coming. But we can't stop it though, when we have the ability to. I am God, and I should have been taught that first. Not to be able to go up to somebody's hand and shake their hand and do it with confidence. No, be able to look in the mirror with confidence is what you need to teach the children. Look in the mirror with confidence. Because you know yourself. And to know yourself is to know somebody else. I don't need to go to damn school to become a psychologist if I study myself. And the inner workings of my mind. And how the mind work and the, and the faculties of my mind. Because some things are just human nature. I mean, some things are personal. Some things are ego. Even that. I don't need to read a book to learn about the ego. I need to know myself. But we go to school. We're paying to go to school for our knowledge now. We have we we invest. We invest for knowledge now, but not in ourselves. But we'll invest in what somebody else want to teach us about us. And I don't mean black, white, or none of that. Moors, none of that. That's important, though. I mean yourself. You go to school to become a doctor and don't even become a doctor because you're called... What is a doctor? Somebody who practices medicine. Not somebody who know. Now give me a witch doctor or a shaman. He know medicine. But a doctor practice medicine. And he practicing on your ass. That's why you have all of these different um, side effects to the shit they give you. Yeah, they give you something for your heart attack. You just know that shit going to kill your kidney. And then they're going to give you something for your kidney. Then they take out your liver. And then one day you just look the fuck up and you can't walk no more. And you don't know why. Because it's from the goddamn side effects of 1500 pills you've been taking. And you haven't been detoxing because you don't know yourself because you don't know what the kidneys really is. You don't really understand that the kidneys is filtering. It's the body's filter. That's why when a filter get dirty, you get urinary tract infection. But a person that get urinary tract infection and run to a doctor, one, you don't even know that you can get cranberry juice. And I'm not saying to go get that because that's more acidic, but still it works. But you can go get some... Um, I can't even think about it right now, but it's all kinds of stuff you can get to clean that kidney out, like some dandelion root. That's not acidic. That's alkaline. But it's, it's things that you can do, but no, you go. You go to the medical doctor and ask him what to do because you don't know yourself. Because you don't even know how to clean your kidney out. But you're knowing yourself. You big time knowing yourself and you up there on the stage talking to the people about the suns and the moons and shit and the four elements. But you can't even break down the four elements. What four elements? They'll call it fire, water, air, and earth. That's the four elements. What is it? What is water? Break that down. What is water? H2O. What's the H2 or the O? What is a proton? What's a subatomic particle? 
What's the what's the neutron? What's the electron? What is it? What's a quark, a biad, or a zed? What is it? Know yourself. One, just knowing yourself would eliminate a lot of our problems. A lot of our problems. Because it's not about knowing just somebody else and becoming somebody else. Because again, I'll say it. In my own nation, we walk around with all kind of costumes on. And still got to go home with the lights getting cut off. Still struggling to feed the babies. But I know myself. Because I know Osiris was one of us. I know the universities in Timbuktu belong to us. I know Sekhmet was one of us. I know Ninti was one of us. I know the deities had nine ether hair. They one of us. But you can't even fly a spaceship. You, you, you can't even, you can't fly an airplane. But your deities come from somewhere else. How they get here? You don't know. Because you know the science of yourself. Can you levitate? Can you defy gravity? Ask me if I can. Yeah, I can. I got proof. That's not the point. What are you doing with yourself? Use our story as inspiration. Is what we have to do. As in, in, be inspired by it. It's a wonderful thing. What we were. The kings we were and the pyramids we built. We ain't building shit now. Because we don't know shit about nothing. Know yourself. All of those answers are in you. Because once you begin to know yourself. You get on frequency. I'm telling you you get on frequency. And I'm telling you the trees. Begin to talk to you. And the rocks speak to you. A rock. You know how long it, it took for this rock to become this? You know the process of this? Study geology. You know the process of this? It could be hundreds of thousands, even millions of years. The frequency of this rock. So some of us get back there like we're working the stones and the semi-precious stones from what we read out of a book. Because a book said that we should do this. No, you should know it. Ask the rock yourself. You can. You can ask the rock. I promise you. It'll talk to you. Cleanse your body out. Detox. Get the toxins out your body. And talk to great Yoni. Talk to God. This great womb of creation. And sisters, again, you got that double power. You got that double womb. Not only, not only can, can you create ideas and thoughts and then to make them manifest... That's this yoni. But the other yoni, you have a portal. You have a celestial link. This is the celestial link back. You think it's not? That's, that's, that's why you're on the same cycle as the moon. The moon regulates the waters, boo. The moon regulates your waters. Link this, link this wound to that, to that wound. Link this wound to this wound. This wound to that wound. And see what will manifest in your life. But you got to know yourself. Put the book down for a little while. Okay, we did it. We went through the, the age of um, being logical and analytical with Pisces. It's over. Going to Aquarius or, or in it now, I'm not sure. But that's the, that's the age of the womb. It's the age of God. That's the age of flu, uh, fru, fruition. Movement. Let's get it going. You got to put the books down about your ancestors. Because then you pour libations to them. And call upon them why, why, you wonder why they ain't talking to you. Because you're not following your own wound. You're not, they follow theirs. You're getting instructions. You get instructions about the self. But then you go to a book. To have it confirmed for you. You are your confirmation. Be content with that. Be satisfied with you. It's okay to be yourself. And especially my sisters. And I'm about to do a whole video on that. A wound man video. It's time, it's just time for some things to be said. You're being suppressed. The women are being suppressed by the male's ego. Because he'll say, resurrect. He'll say a nation is only as strong as this wound man. As long as she doing what the fuck I say. They, they, don't, they don't pick you. 
for your power. You're not being chosen for your power. Most of them anyway. For, for, the, for the strength in you. And the knowing of the self. They pick you to see where you fit in their lives. If your ass fat enough. If you're pretty enough. And if you can help their cause. When well, sister, the cause is yours. You got to rule this nation. You got to run this. You're the guardian of the nation. It's yours. The responsibility is yours. Not his. He's to protect while you are, and provide while you are the guard. You are the guardian. You have to raise him. Know thyself, y'all. Know thyself. Level 7 to 7 principles. Womb science. Spirituality, natural law, love, economics, education, and sacrifice. These are the divine principles inspired by the guardians and the watchers given to us now to master the self. Know thyself or get stuck behind because that's what's about to happen. Because we're a bunch of smart idiots. We know all of this shit. You can sit and... I'm telling you, I've, I've sat with people and they can sit and run history down. But they don't know their blood type. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's the new slave. Our story has become the new slave system. Because we've become slaves to the system. Because we wait for somebody else to bring about your story. Or something else that you should know about yourself. But the knowing of the self. Opens up this information. When you, I'm telling you when you are again. When you are on frequency. When you are on the proper frequencies within yourself. Nature begins to talk to you. Especially the womb man. Remember, y'all, that womb is how we get that spiritual realm manifesting on the physical realm. Only a woman can do that. Know yourself. Start over. Now you have all this other information in your head. Start over with the basics and know yourself. I tell you this because I love you. I tell you this because it's working for me. It's happening with me. Know yourself. This is Dardivide Secrecy, level 7 in the several principles. I love you.